Well, hello and welcome to Unfolding Gospel. My name is Andrew Lacasse, and I'm just excited to teach the class and have you there. If I haven't met you before, I look forward to meeting you. Um, and it really is a special class. This class has um, really come together from a lot of different avenues and questions and sources and things. Uh, in my life over the years and uh, really has changed a lot of the way that I um, just look at the Bible and look at Jesus and look at myself, and I hope it does the same for you. I want to take you through a couple introductory things in this video so that we don't have to use class time in order to do this. Uh, first, some just logistics. When and where are we meeting and what do you need to do? Um, we are meeting in the Agape Room during third service uh, from June 12th on Sundays through July 31st. Um, that is the Agape Room. If you aren't familiar, uh, if you walk into the sanctuary or walk towards the sanctuary, turn right towards the bathrooms. In that hallway, you'll see a sign above the door that says Agape Room. Um, there'll also be a sign, at least the first week, uh, designating <clears throat> where we are for, fresh, uh, for Unfolding Gospel so you won't uh, miss it. Um, we will uh, we'll be there every Sunday, um, and you... Uh, are going to need, you're going to need a handbook. Uh, so the handbook is free. Um, you can get a printed one in the office, or you can, if you're more comfortable and you want to just use a digital version, there's a PDF um, at this website. You can, you can access that. It's one handbook for the entirety of the class. You're not going to get new material every week. And so you just need the one, one-stop shop. Uh, there'll be some uh, supplementary videos as we go. Uh, those will be at this website. Everything's going to be kind of right here for you. You can also watch the videos on the app. So if you go on our CM Church app and then go to Ministries, and then from there uh, go to Classes, uh, you'll be able to find it there. And um, you can kind of take take the videos with you and uh, have them in your ear when you go through Target or whatever. Um, I want to just introduce the, the handbook to you a little bit. Um, this is on page, uh, page three. You can follow along when you get one, or you can watch this ahead of time. Um, and I'll read here for you. It says, welcome to unfolding gospel. This class is designed to provide you with an overall understanding of the events in the Bible and how those events tell a story more amazing than we could have expected. You will learn how to read the Bible in the light of that story, find Christ as its hero and begin to frame your life in its context. You will not have a whole understanding of the Bible until you understand the Bible as a whole. I'm going to say that several times again. Um, you'll get sick of me saying it, but you'll uh, more and more understand what that means. This class requires study and reflection, but if you invest fully in the class, you'll never read the Bible the same way again. May God bless your studying and soul searching over the next several weeks. Uh, this class is difficult uh, for many because it, it's very conceptual, and those concepts sometimes are uh, unfamiliar concepts, unfamiliar ways of looking at the Bible, or because the Bible seems so familiar to many of us who've gotten used to it, uh, to all of a sudden look at it from a different angle is, is really kind of jarring and hard for people. Um, on that note, two things. Number one, um, I really would say engage with that. When it's hard, when, when learning is difficult, that's a sign that you're learning. When things are a little bit funky and frustrating, that's a sign that actually you're, you're learning. Uh, second is ask questions. Talk with me. Uh, you know, at the end of the class, a lot of times people go, I don't know if I get it. And the class is over. Um, and uh, I would prefer that you said, you know, along the way, I don't know if I get this, or I don't know if I get that, or can I email you? Can we talk? Uh, yes, please use me as a resource. My entire job uh, is really to help you learn. And so um, please, uh, please help me help you learn. Okay. A couple little icons that you need to know about. Uh, this little person with gears in their head is uh, either going to be a um, reflection question that you just need to think about or a homework question that you need to work on for class. When it's homework, it will be noted. You won't be surprised that something was homework you didn't know about. Most of them are just for you to think about. There's also these uh, little people having a talk, which is a discussion item. We're not going to necessarily do all the discussion items in class just because uh, I think we can do a million things in an hour and we'll put a bunch of discussion items in the handbook and then we can't always get to all of them. And so really the idea is be ready to talk. Have a talking point about that. I'm not going to call on you and make you share your thoughts with me uh, or the class. I'm not going to embarrass you. 
Um, but we may discuss that question. And so be ready. There's also a place to write on each of those. Even if you don't have a thought, you may hear something that somebody else says uh, in the discussion. And you may want to write that down. Um, that's a good that's a good way to learn. And then our goals for the class overall. Our goals are first to learn the overall storyline of the Bible. Um, that's going to be pretty broad. Um, the Bible, there's a lot to it. We could talk through its story, you know, for years and years. We could read the entire Bible. Um, this is overall, this is a, a pretty, um, pretty swift approach, but that's a goal of ours. Uh, we want to learn how Jesus is the central character of the Bible's story, how it really points to him. We're going to spend time um, really kind of fleshing that out. Uh, we're going to learn God's plan for our world. What has he been doing throughout history? What is he continuing to do? And we want to, um, we want to find then the bigger spiritual picture within which our lives fit. Why? If we understand what God's doing in the world, we can better understand our lives and their purpose and what he wants to do in us. Uh, we want to learn methods for richer understanding of your study of scripture. We're going to have some tools, some frameworks, some questions and things towards the end. Um, that's actually usually the, the toughest part about this class, but I really encourage you to stick around all the way through to the end. Um, I want you to have more understanding uh, when you read the Bible and see more that's there on the page. Uh, I want you to apply the gospel in new ways in our lives. You're going to have a project at the end uh, that's going to help you do that. And so again, stick around because we're going to make this more applicable to our lives uh, towards the end. Some things we're going to avoid, we're going to avoid covering every event in the Bible. We just can't. And so if you really, really were hoping to know a whole bunch of detail about, you know, one of the stories in the Bible that this may not scratch that itch, um, I do give you a chronological Bible reading plan at the end uh, if you want to do that on your own. Um, but we're not going to cover everything as much as humanly possible. We're going to get a broad view and a, and a broad understanding, which will help you then go back. Uh, I hope it whets your appetite to learn more and go back and see those stories new. We're going to avoid devotionalizing the story. So we're not pausing in this class. This is hard for people who are used to pausing and talking about what that means to them, how, how they're feeling about it, um, how that, how that, um, how that, what that Bible verse means in their life. Um, what they see there in that verse. Um, we're not going to be doing that along the way. For many, it's a tough mind shift, but uh, you're going to be in an academic setting. That doesn't mean that we're super overly difficult and intellectual and, and all that. It just means that it's a different mindset. Um, we're going to be studying the Bible in a little more scholarly way, especially up front, and that, that sometimes is tough for people. Uh, we're going to avoid speculating, looking for secret meetings, hidden codes, things like that. We're not looking for, you know, um, does the shape of the temple represent the ram's horn that if you divide in three and multiply by seven and shake around with gold and add incense, you learn when Jesus is coming back. We're not doing that stuff. Um, we're going to make some interesting connections theologically in the scripture and see things that connect in ways we maybe didn't realize before, but that doesn't mean we're looking for secret things that only we have noticed. That's not what we're trying to do. And then more socially, we're going to avoid monopolizing discussion. Um, there's less, this class has less time for discussion. You're going to get sick of my voice, but you're going to hear my voice more than others in this class. Um, but we want to treat everybody fairly and give them fair time to talk. Um, you will have, again, some supplementary videos as we go. Supplementary because mainly you're going to be using your handbook and we're going to be in class uh, talking through those things, but the videos will be there uh, and are also necessary. You can access those at that website, calvarymanda.com slash classes, or there's a QR code here. Uh, if you don't know how to use a QR code, um, I guess you could look that up. I won't take the time to explain all that to you. Um, but it's not too difficult. It's just a link, really. It's just a way to link uh, your phone right to a website. Uh, some of the ideas of, of why we do this class, why we focus on story so much. So first of all, uh, the Bible tells its own story several times. It summarizes its story at some really crucial turning points in the story. They go back and go, wait, okay, how did we get here? Let's review. Let's recap. Sort of like when you watch a TV show and it goes, you know, previously on. Ooh, you know, if an episode starts with previously on, that's an important episode. Big things are coming. They want you to be caught up. And so in the Bible, it sometimes tells its own story. That must mean that the Bible story is pretty important. And so we want to know what it is. 
Uh, second, the, the, the majority of the Bible text, a lot of it is narrative. Um, a lot of it is telling a story, building into that story. And so we really want to know what that story is. We often know little stories. I know maybe Jonah. I know Daniel. I know Ruth. I know, um, I know the story of Peter denying Jesus. I know these little pieces. This class is designed to help you uh, start to see the bigger piece. Um, also, people are designed to understand and resonate with stories. We love stories. We're built for stories. God made us that way. And so when we have a Bible in front of us that tells us a story, why not let it be what it's designed to be and what we're designed to engage with, which is a really powerful story. Um, also in our culture, you know, um, if you're unfamiliar with the term postmodernism, part of postmodern culture um, is that narrative is important. Um, what postmodernism does, though, is it takes meaning out of out of stories and um, takes right and wrong out of stories and takes heroes out of stories. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell an important story, the most important story, but with a hero, with right and wrong and with meaning uh, built into it. And so uh, that's a way that we can engage part of our culture that's very um, that very highly emphasizes and appreciates narrative. Um, we also, as I said before, I'll say it again, in order to understand the Bible as a whole, sorry, in, or, in order to have a whole understanding of the Bible, we need to understand it as a whole. In order to know what's going on, in order to have a really thorough um, knowledge of the Bible, we have to understand its whole story. I give you a little quiz here. How well do you know the events of the Bible? I gave you the first one and the 17th one, so the first and the last. Take an attempt at this. See if you can put those in order, 1 to 17. Um, I won't embarrass you by making you uh, say how that went, but just give it a try. See where you're at. Uh, for many people, it's very difficult. If it is, you're in the right place because we're going we're gonna to put those together uh, in order and start to know what comes first and second and third in the Bible. Then on page five, you have a few questions. Um, go ahead, just answer those to the best of your ability. Again, I'm not going to ask you for your answers you know, in class. However, in several weeks, we're going to look at these questions again and see if anything has changed. And so um, I really do encourage you to actually write down an answer so that in the future you're able to refer back to it uh, when, we, when we get there. Uh, if you're not able to answer those and you're, you're not really sure, um, that's okay. I understand. Uh, no, no worries, but do your best. Um, and then we're going we're gonna to get started with the events of the Bible. So uh, you need to look at your syllabus um, that'll be on this website for you. That's going to be your itinerary of what we're doing. So as we go, um, you know, you uh, uh, people are always, oh, what, what page are we reading to and all? Um, this, this uh, we're going to have a, a syllabus. And so um, take a look at that and make sure you're, 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 you're on the ball. There's, there's some stuff you need to do ahead of time. I want you to hit the ground running on the first day. Um, and the best way you can do that is by um, reading and watching the video up front. And so we'll, um, we'll get ready together. I look forward to having you in class. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you June 12th.